Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Juline and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So if you watched my last plan with me yesterday, um, I said that I would do a follow-up video. So I'm going to be doing a daily plan with me in my Hobonichi cousin and it's going to be for the week I just planned in the weekly section. So I'm actually going to be planning the same week here the first week of March, so March 1st to the 7th. So if you guys want to see how I set up this section in my Hobonichi Cousin, you guys can watch yesterday's plan with me. And now I'm gonna be doing the daily. So just so you guys know, this planner is my work planner. I use it as a pre-planner. So um, I do a lot of my pre-planning here. A lot of my routines will go in here, my social media, all the kind of like overview of the week type stuff will go into this section and then um, in the dailies I tend to go a little bit more in detail so I will kind of explain that as I go but since this is the beginning of a new month I am going to be setting up this page so here I like to make a list of my important dates as well as my goals on this blank page that is in the beginning of each month. So what I'm going to be using is this Tombow marker. So each month I do have a different color Tombow marker. So actually in February, as you can see here, um, I did use a pink color. This month is going to be a kind of light yellow. And if you are curious about the number, it's 062. The pen that I'm going to be using is, as always, the Uniball Signal RT in the 0.38. This is just a special edition body um, from Sanrio. It's a My Melody one, but you can get this off of Amazon really easily. It's just in a black tube. And then the, the other pen that I'm going to be using is this lettering pen. This is the Kokoro Zig pen. Um, I do have a couple of different body colors, um, usually in the kind of brighter pink and then this paler one, um, but you can also choose the different type of ink cartridge inside. I'm just using a black one. So those are the tools that I'm going to be using and then I am using the full year Hobonichi Cousin. So let's set up this page. First off, I'm going to use my Tombow and I'm just going to write important dates on one side and then goals on the other. And I mentioned this in my previous video, but I like to kind of do a little swatch like this. And I'm not being too careful about it. I just want to have like a little space for a header. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then I'm going to go in with my lettering pen. I don't go too fancy with my lettering just because this is a work planner and I don't have time to, you know, hand letter really nicely. As you can see here, I just use like my regular kind of ugly writing and that's good enough for me. This planner is very functional for me, especially the dailies. I try not to be too conscious about being neat or using the same pen. As you can see, I've been using different colored pens in here. This has to be very functional for me. Um, I work as an author, but I also have an Etsy shop, which is Anna Jolene Printables on Etsy. And then I also do um, freelance work as an assistant to other romance authors. And so um, having multiple businesses and multiple jobs just means that I need a place to kind of dump it all and um, be as messy as I need to be. So that is what this planner is. So now that I have my um, headers down, I am going to just write important dates here with this pen. And again, not being super neat, I don't really care about that. Um, I just want to make sure that I have all my priorities all on one page. So I have my important dates and my goals. So right now I'm gonna fill this in with all my important dates. So that is basically anything that I have here in my monthly. So this is my monthly view. I just have these transparent dot stickers marking down my events. Anything that is not confirmed goes here. And then I do have other things that um, haven't been confirmed yet. So that is why they're on little post-it tabs or post-it sticky notes. Um, anything that is confirmed does get written down directly on the page. So I'm gonna transfer some of these things and then kind of add a little bit more detail in this section, just so that I have it at a glance at the beginning of my dailies. So I'm gonna fill that in and then be right back.
So now I have written down all my important dates for the month. So I wrote everything in chronological order, but sometimes things get added last minute. So I will just continue the list down here. Um, I do have some personal stuff in here. So like daylight savings and um, some holidays, but for the most part, it is all work stuff. Um, in the goal section, I am going to write out the goals that I have each month. I like to do this every single month. It just allows me to kind of um, refocus every single month. And I only set myself a few things to do each month so that I don't get too overwhelmed. And also at the end of the month, I always make sure that I complete everything. So most of these goals here are usually part of larger goals. So for example, I want to finish a book. So one of the tasks this month is to finish the second draft of that book. Hopefully by the end of the quarter, I'll have that book done. By meeting that goal this month, I know that I'm on track for meeting that other larger goal. So I am just going to write that in here. So I want to finish that second draft of the book that I started writing last month. I also want to release my pocket rings inserts. So what I did was I revamped my existing inserts and I also created some new ones. So most of the ones that I have in the shop now are going to be retired to make room for the new ones. I also have a sale for a couple of my books this month and then I also have to renew my business license. So those are my main goals for this month that have to happen this month. So that is how I set up this page. Once again, I make sure that I check off everything on this list so that I can make my goals for the year. So now we are moving on to the daily pages here. So as you can see, I do have a couple of things written in. Once again, this is my work pre-planner. So as the events come in and they get confirmed, I put them in here right away just so that, you know, I am not missing anything once the day comes. But for the most part, all the other pages do tend to remain blank. I fill them in either at the end of the night or early in the morning, um, just so that I have an accurate list of what I need to do that day. So I do have one event here. I need to add another one. So I am just gonna grab my Tombow once again and just make a little swatch. And I will put that in with my lettering pen. So I only use pen in this daily section. I don't really use stickers or washi. I am using the full year, so I don't want anything to bulk it up too much. So using the Tombows is just a way to kind of minimize the bulk. Um, in these built-in checklists at the top of every single page, I am going to be putting my tasks for the authors that I work for. So I am an assistant to other authors and so there are some daily tasks that I need to do for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly fill that in every single day. They are sometimes reoccurring tasks or just events that I need to keep track of for them. Any releases that they may have for their books, I just keep track of it up here so that I have a clear view of what's happening for them on my daily page as well. So I'm gonna fill that in right now. So most of these tasks here at the top are usually just social media tasks, or for example, I need to um, put up a giveaway for them. So just things like that. So now that this is dry, I am going to write in my other event that begins on this day. Okay, so now that we have that, I already have my most important to do on this day and that is to renew my business license. So I'm gonna do that um, first thing in the morning. On Tuesday, I know that I have to read my review books. So I am a book reviewer. I do get books sent to me in advance. These are advanced reader copies of books from publishers and authors that I need to review for promotional purposes. So um, I have quite a lot of review books to get to this month. 
Um, I'm kind of behind on that, so I want to make sure that I do that. Um, in terms of my writing, I want to get ready to start moving into the second draft. So one of my goals of this, so I'm going to prep for that. Um, so I am going to make my second draft notes. So basically what I like to do before I go into another draft of a book is write down all the main issues of that draft. I will just list it out and then as I am going through the book, I will start addressing them. I will also do any research that I need to do for that book in this period. So that is why it's important for me to have this list at the beginning before I start the draft. I just want to make sure that I am fully prepared before I start making changes to that draft. So typically for me when I'm writing a book I can go up to five drafts myself before I let any of my beta readers um, read it and then I do tend to have two or three beta readers per book so after they go through it I go through it a couple more times before it goes to my editor so there are a lot of steps in writing a book and so I do want to make sure that um, I am fully prepared for all those steps before they happen so that is my main focus on Tuesday on Wednesday I do have to finish my research book. So again, prepping for my second draft of the book, I need to do some research. So typically um, a lot of authors will write about what they already know and I definitely have done that in the past, but after releasing 10 books already and then writing so many more after that, I feel like I do want to kind of broaden my horizons in research and write about different things that maybe I haven't personally experienced. So doing research obviously helps for that. So I am going to devote this day to all my research for my book. Um, the book that I am writing involves a lot of cooking and culinary schools. So I'm gonna be researching on that in a little bit more detail so that I can integrate that into the book. On Thursday, so on Thursday I typically devote that to um, my review site. So I do review books for two websites currently. I am a columnist also for one of them, so um, I need to write reviews and kind of catch up on the reviews for that website. So I'm just going to make a note here to write the reviews. And then also I need to share the reviews. And then also for the other website that I need to do, I need to submit the um, reviews. So they will go to the editor and she will edit them before they get released to the public. So down here at the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to kind of break it down a little bit more. So one of my major to-dos is to write reviews, but I also want to write down the reviews that I need to actually write on this daily page as well. So I've just put a little swatch here using my Tombow. I'm actually gonna write down the books that I need to review. So one of the books is Million Dollar Demon by Kim Harrison. So this is a very popular book. It's part of her Hollow series. So I know a lot of readers are gonna be looking forward to my review for that. I also review Cozy Mysteries, so Haunted Hibiscus is another one that's really popular with readers, and that is by Laura Childs. It's part of her Tea Shop Mystery series, which I absolutely love. Um, For Better or Worse is another Cozy Mystery, and that is by Jen McKinley. And this book is part of her Cupcake Bakery series. And then I do have a fantasy book to review and that is The Queen's Weapon by Anne Bishop. So I'm just gonna write in my header. So I need to write these reviews and also draft them up before they can get scheduled on the blog. So that is going to be my main task for Thursday. 
Now let's move on to Friday. Now I actually don't have anything planned for Friday apart from a couple of TV shows, so I'm actually not going to write anything in there for now. On Saturday I do have to print a few things, so I'm going to actually make a little list here at the bottom of all the things that I need to print. And then also I need to do my kind of month and monthly wrap up type of thing. So typically I should have done this at the end of last week, but I haven't had the time, so I am going to be doing it now. Typically this is the stuff that I do to kind of reflect on the past month. So I do this with my goals and also my shop, my Etsy shop, which is Anna Jolene Printables. So I will go through my shop finances. I have to do my bookkeeping for the shop as well. I like to do a reflection to kind of just reflect on how the month went, were there any hardships or, or what went well, which is typically what I like to write about, and then also any customer service. I want to make sure that I have addressed everything and that all the customers are fully happy. So now that I have my print section at the bottom here, I'm just going to write to print. And I want to print out um, some inserts for my personal wide. So um, my Lux inserts for my personal wide I need to print out because I have finished that. And then I think there are some wellness inserts that I want to print out. I will go into my health planner. I haven't really shown my health planner that much. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Um, it is kind of personal, but if you guys want to see it, then just let me know and I can do a flip through maybe. And then um, there is another thing that I want to print out. So this will be a running list. Anything that I feel like I need to um, print out throughout the week, I will just add to this list. So when Saturday comes along, I can just sit down at my computer and print everything out. Okay, so let's move on to Sunday. This is the last day. Um, I do want to do my memory spread in my Oristel A5. So I like to do this at the very end of the week so that I don't get too far behind. Um, memory keeping is just something nice for me to have, um, to look back on. It's also a nice self-care activity for me. So I just like to do that. Um, if you guys like to see my plan with me's on my memory spreads. I do have some of those filmed, um, but if you guys would like me to film it every week, I can also do that too. So you let me know what you guys prefer. Um, I also want to make sure that my February reading journal is filled up. So again, this is one of the month end tasks that I should have done last week, but I haven't had the time yet. I also want to set up my March bullet journal. And this is for my goals. I set up all my goals in a bullet journal, which I have kind of shared a video on. I will link that video if you guys haven't seen it already. So I have to set up my goals for March and then also I need to update my week's finances. So that is in my Hobonichi weeks. I keep track of my spending in that monthly view. The other thing that I want to at, at the bottom here on the Sunday is a waiting on. So I just like to keep track of some of the happy mail or emails that I'm kind of waiting on a response from. I am just going to list out the happy mail that I am waiting on. So I'm waiting for my B6 Stalogies to arrive so I can do a setup video when those arrive. Um, I ordered some more Tombow markers. Um, I am waiting on a Moterm, a couple of Moterms actually. So I'm waiting on an A5 Lux Moterm and then also a Pocket Versa. I also got one of those off of Amazon so I'm waiting for those to arrive. I'm waiting for an order from Rose Colored Days and also Powder World, 
those haven't arrived yet. So if I notice that something has been on this list for a very long time and I'm transferring it from week to week to week and it's been like a month or two, then that will prompt me to contact the shop and kind of see what's going on because the mail hasn't come in yet. The other thing is the Pretty Pink Co. Oh, this is a Toronto Bay shop, so um, we live in the same city, but I noticed that the shop is taking a very long time to ship out my order. It's been like, I don't know how long already, but I'm getting a little bit worried about this shop, so that will prompt me to kind of follow up if I notice that something is not arriving. So I'm gonna just write waiting on here. So let's move back onto Friday. I do want to make another list of videos to film, but I'm actually not going to fill it up yet because I do want these videos to be a little bit of a surprise. So I'm just gonna write videos to film so that I will remember to fill this up later. So that is how I set up my March pages for once again, everything is very functional. Just using three pens here. I really have been enjoying it. I'll kind of show you a flip through of my previous weeks. So as you can see, everything is very functional here. I just fill it in as I need to. The weekends can be a little bit more bare because this is a work planner, but I do sometimes work on the weekends. So I like to um, have those pages ready. When I am pre-planning, I do leave the timeline blank because I do fill that in on the day so other than the actual um, event that I have going on I will kind of fill it up some days I miss out on it like on these days I don't fill it in but usually I will fill it in um, as the day goes on or at the beginning of the day um, but since this is my work planner I only put in my work events or work tasks in this timeline. I don't put any personal stuff. So um, maybe you can see here, I fill in mostly at the top here because that is when I work. Even though I'm awake and doing things during this time, I am not filling it up because I'm not working. So this is only a work planner. All this other stuff here is typically personal, so I don't really include it in this. So same goes here on this day. I just put the things that are scheduled or any work tasks that I did. And then after this time, I was doing personal stuff, so I didn't include it in this work planner. So that's why maybe some parts may look a little bit bare. It's not because I'm not doing anything, it's just that this is only for work. So once again, if you guys are curious how I set up this weekly, you guys can watch yesterday's video so you can kind of see how I use the two parts together and hopefully you can get some ideas from this. But that is my video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit chatty, but um, I think you guys typically enjoy those type of videos anyways. Um, if you guys are interested in any of the printables, so any of these printables that I have in my shop, and Angeline printables, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for more videos from me. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.